What's up, guys? It's Friday, and so you know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. Today might be the What the Fitness I'm most excited about. We are talking about poop. What the f <laughs> Now, nobody sent me this. I found this on my own, but if I've seen it on YouTube, I'm sure you guys have seen it. And there's this company called Umzu that has these really annoying commercials. Now, it's usually this guy with a horrible beard who looks like your typical 2021 hipster talking about poop. And every time I've seen it, I've just tried to get to the skip ad, skip ad, skip ad, skip ad, skip ad, as quickly as possible because I know that any more than five seconds is going to kill my soul. However, we can repackage this, repurpose this, and reuse it to talk about why this is bullshit. Start the poop counter. Your routine is vital to good health because all poop is considered toxic by its nature. Some people Stop. So let's talk about what poop is actually made of. Poop is about 75% water. Of the 25% that is not water, a good portion, about half of it, is undigestible material like macronutrients, protein, carbohydrates, fats that are undigestible, and a lot of dietary fiber. The other half is intestinal bacteria. That bacteria is, I suppose, toxic, but there's a reason that that bacteria stays in your gut. Now, the same thing that makes poop toxic is the same thing that keeps your gut healthy, which is your gut bacteria. Now, for people who have never had basic physiology, I understand how this could be confusing. So, let me help you understand. Your digestive system is basically a tube from your mouth that goes to your ass. And in between there, food that you eat gets chopped up, digested, absorbed across the intestine, and the waste products, including some of your gut bacteria, get excreted. That tube is a tube for a reason, because it keeps the stuff that should be in you, in you, and it keeps the stuff that should not be in your bloodstream out of your bloodstream. It does not enter your circulatory system. If your gut bacteria, the toxic component of poop, entered your circulation, that is called sepsis. We don't have people spontaneously getting sepsis. Sepsis is caused by some other issue. So let's just start that off right there. So right away, this guy's full of shit, but she already knew that. I did it again. I gotta slow down on my shits, otherwise there's gonna be a lot of shits on this video. So poop, yes, it could be toxic if it got into circulation. It does not. The toxic component, the bacteria, are in your colon and your bowel are necessary for the proper functioning of your digestive system. Some people have pounds and pounds of it just sitting inside of them, rotting away inside their intestines. So th this is something vegans used to say about meat. Oh, it just sits in your intestines and rots away. Uh, no. The average person produces approximately 150 grams of poop per day. That can go up, especially with increasing dietary fiber. So for every gram of dietary fiber you eat, your poop goes up by about two grams because fiber holds a lot of water. Now it depends on the type of fiber. Non-fermentable or insoluble fiber tends to increase poop mass more. So you do have some outliers who can produce upwards of like a thousand grams of poop per day, but those people are very rare and they tend to defecate a lot more often. It does not just sit in your colon and rot. And let's think about this logically, shall we? If this was the case, everyone who was constipated would just fucking die. I don't know, even know why I need to do this video. If you bought this, you're probably an idiot, at least when it comes to physiology. Like, I like studies, I don't even need a study. I just need my eyeballs to observe people who have the worst case scenario of what this guy's talking about, which is constipation. As far as I'm aware of, uncomfortable, but not a fatal condition. As this toxic waste builds up, your body becomes a walking vessel of fecal toxicity. <laughs> Once this happens, you begin to experience excess fatigue, weight gain, digestive issues like irritable bowel syndrome, leaky gut syndrome, constipation and diarrhea, skin conditions like eczema, psoriasis, rosacea and acne, brain fog, focus and attention issues, mood swings, anxiety and depression. And that's just the beginning. So apparently being constipated just causes every problem known to mankind. Once again, weight gain, well yeah, if you're constipated, you're gonna gain some weight in the short term, 
and then once you defecate, you won't anymore. Also, how does that work? I'm curious. So is he implying you can get fat from poop? How does that work? How does that actually, like, it's not getting into your system. How would it cause you to gain body fat? That doesn't make sense. But then again, nothing he's saying actually makes fucking sense. Apparently, you can just throw an ad on YouTube and say whatever the hell you want and people will buy the shit. <laughs> video, I'm gonna show you the seven most common types of poop profiles that all people have. Oh, poop according profiles. According to doctors who conducted a large study of over 2,000 people. Now you can use Zupu to hit the reset. Now he shows the study for about a half second. I'm sure if we actually read the study, it has nothing to do with his shitty product that he's selling. Button on your gut, then just 15. Oh, he said he can reset your gut. What does that mean? So if you're going to reset your gut, so always be careful of people who use nebulous terms like reset. What do you mean by reset? How do you measure that you're resetting? I mean, if you're talking about resetting, you're talking about wiping out all your gut bacteria. Well, that doesn't sound like a good idea. If you're talking about trying to get all the poop out of your system, that's actually fucking impossible. You cannot like cleanse your system. You always have gut bacteria, which is part of fecal matter, and therefore you are always making feces. Yes, you can get a lot of it out, but you can never get all of it out. This is why when carnivore idiots are like, well, see, you don't need fiber. I'm still pooping and all I eat is meat. Even though the poops are painful and infrequent, they're like, see, I still poop. Yeah, because you still have bacterial cells in your intestine, you moron. Also, nebulous terms, if something can mean anything, it means nothing. Poops every single day. If you're feeling sluggish, bloated around the waist, or even just plain backed up, then give Zupu a try for 15 days. It'll clean you out, guaranteed. It'll clean out your fucking wallet. Click through to read the hilarious reviews about how consistently effective Zupu truly is. It contains the perfect dosages of all natural ingredients. The dosages of which, by the way, are not listed on their product. So he claims it does all this stuff, and I looked at it. There's a few ingredients on there that are laxatives. Big fucking whoop. Okay, so wow. You're telling me if I take a laxative, I'm gonna poop more? Holy shit! Someone call the press! This man has solved all of our problems! Why can't I just eat fiber? That increases poop mass and frequency. I don't know. Or go get some Miralax or something. You don't need this guy's shitty proprietary blend of this crap. Now, again, if a company doesn't list the dosage of the ingredients in their product, what do you think that tells you about the product? Again, if you guys buy this shit, you're crazy. That'll get things moving and flush out that extra waste you're carrying around. You're gonna feel great when it's gone. It may be a bit embarrassing to talk about your poop, but it has a huge impact on your health. Well, this guy and it's something that you must understand if you wanna look and feel your best. It may come as a shock, but your digestive system impacts the health of your entire body. And understanding the health of your digestive system begins with understanding your poop. If you're not producing well-formed stools after each meal, then you're most likely suffering from a toxic buildup inside your digestive system. Wait, did he just say if you're not producing poops after each meal? If you're pooping after every meal, you've actually got a problem. Like, that's actually too much poop. So everybody watching this, oh my god. I don't shit after every meal. I better go get this because I should, no, no. 150 grams per day is normal. So you produce 150 grams, your max gut transit time is 60 hours, even if you did not poop at all for 60 hours. If you have a one pound shit, you've more than shit out all the shit that you've made in the last few days. That's secretly causing all of your health concerns. Let's oh, it's causing all your health what concerns. What does your poop actually look like, and what does that tell you about your health? The Bristol Stool Scale outlines seven different poop types that you should be on the lookout for. We have marbles, which mean you're constipated. Caterpillars, also constipated. Hot dogs and snakes, which are normal and healthy. Amoebas, which indicate a need for some more fiber from healthy foods like fruits. Soft serve and Jackson Pollocks are considered diarrhea. Your body may be trying to flush out something from the system quickly. If you have marbles, caterpillars, soft serve, or Jackson Pollocks, then I highly recommend you use Zupu to do a two-week complete flush of your gut and intestines. Wait, so you're going to recommend they use a laxative, which is going to make it look like ice cream and Jackson Pollocks, 
and that's somehow gonna help. It's safe and easy and highly effective. See for yourself, click through to read the hilarious reviews from men and women just like you who use Zupu to drop pounds of toxic poop from their system within just a matter of a few short weeks. Just take two capsules of Zupu like a day, take a poop with plenty of water, and your first big trip to the porcelain throne should happen within 24 to 48 hours. Keep drinking plenty of water. Some people take a look. <laughs> I, love, I love how it's like, oh, you should have a, a bathroom trip within 24 to 48 hours. Wow! Boy, you're setting the bar high. You mean just normal amounts of defecation frequency. A little bit longer to flush things out, depending on things like diet quality. Be warned, as one funny review said, the things coming out of me will haunt my nightmares forever. You'll see some really toxic poop. No, sir, you will haunt my nightmares forever. Now, over the 15 days. Once your first full... And your beard, which is horrible, by the way. Just get rid of it. The hipster thing is not working for you. Complete, you'll start to notice a change in your stool type. More hot dogs and snakes and less marbles, caterpillars, and Jackson Pollocks. If you're feeling sluggish, bloated around the waist, or even just plain backed up and constipated, then give Zupu a try for 15 days. It'll clean you out, guaranteed. Click we'll clean your wallet out, guaranteed. Read the hilarious reviews about how consistently effective Zupu truly is. Whoo! Boy! That was a shitload of shit! You know what, if this guy had just said, hey guys, I have created, or this company has created this laxative, which if you're backed up, it can help you poop more, no problems. Instead, we gotta make up a bunch of bullshit about, oh, there's toxic poop, and it's causing all of your health problems, woo! This is marketing bullshit 101. You don't sell a product, you sell a problem and then the product sells itself. Did he ever once mention directly how his product mechanistically is going to have the effects on your health that he claims? No, he didn't. He just used a bunch of nebulous terms throughout some random scientific citations and expects your dumbasses to buy it. I'm hoping that you don't, and not that all of you are dumbasses, because if you subscribe to my channel, apparently, You've got something in between your ears. But if you buy this, you probably just shit it out. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the links in the description if you want some products that aren't full of shit. And I'll catch you next week.